Hello everyone. I'm making this tutorial to help you learn to import an applique pattern into the canvas software and break it apart to be cut on your scan and cut machine. You must start with the image scanned into your computer. You then open up the Brother Canvas software and this is what you do to get it in here. I'm on a new screen, new file. Click on Project, Image Tracing. Select Choose File so you can find your image that you want to upload. We'll use this one. You can see that it's a regular JPG file. This is a hand applique block that I want to cut on the scan and cut. Select the file by left clicking it once. Left click open. There's our image. The first thing you want to do is to try to eliminate right here anything that's not necessary for your pattern. So I'm going to select this red dashed line, left click to drag it up and bring it close in. So I'm eliminating this border. We don't need that. Same thing on all four sides. Eliminate whatever you can that you don't need. You're really just cropping the image. Okay, that looks good. I've eliminated as much as I could at this point. Now we want to tell Canvas to trace this image. It doesn't always get it all or get it very well on the first try. Let's see how it does without adjusting anything on its own. Come down here, left click on preview. Now you can tell what the canvas software sees because you can see that these some of these lines have changed to this pretty blue color. This is what it's seeing at this point. Obviously this isn't good enough. We can come over here and play around with some of these settings to see if we can get it to see this image better. I don't know if there's a secret to this making it work better or more efficiently. I just kind of play around with everything until I get it to work. And usually you can. I find I have the most luck if I select this color button here, which I think makes it look for color and not just the outline. We'll try this leaving it set at the maximum number of colors 5, which is its default. We'll select preview again to see if it can see it better now. There we go. It has seen the whole image. That's perfect. We like what it shows here, so we will left click on OK. There is our applique pattern uploaded nicely to the Scan and Cut Canvas software. Now to make it efficient for cutting, we're going to separate these parts out. There are four outer flowers that are virtually the same. So we only have to worry about, right now, the pieces to one flower and this center flower, which is obviously different, and the stems. Now this pattern happened to come in already broken apart. 
Sometimes they don't. Sometimes the ungroup function right here in Canvas will work to separate them. Sometimes it doesn't, and you'll have to take the image into a different program to break it apart. Then reload it back into Canvas, and that's a little bit more detailed. But most of the time it comes in like this. Now to separate this out to make it much easier for cutting the pieces on Scan and Cut, you will select each piece individually by left clicking on it. Here I've left clicked and selected the center circle. Hold the left mouse button and drag it out. Let's go to the second section which will be the inner part of this flower. Left click to select it. Now I double clicked on this and it gave us the editing nodes. We don't want to mess with that. So just click somewhere off it left click on it I think I got the outer ring this time hold on there we go I've selected the inner flower left click drag that out left click on the outer part of the flower hold the left mouse button drag that out so there's the three parts to our inner flower you don't need to worry about what's left over here at this point now let's work on the outer flowers. These are all the same on the outside, so we only need the pieces really from one flower. Let's select the left hand leaf. Drag it down. Now we know we're going to need four because there are four flowers. While it's selected, right click, duplicate. and line it up. Right click, duplicate, line it up. Right click, duplicate, line it up. There are the four left hand leaves for each of our flowers. Let's go to the bottom part of the flower. Left click to select it, drag it down. Again, we'll need four of these because there were four flowers. While it's selected, right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate, and you can arrange these so they will be easier to place over your fabric once you have it loaded in the scan and cut. Select the next part of your pattern. Let's do the very innermost part of this outer, outer flower left click to select drag it down and just like you did for the leaves on the bottom of the flower right click duplicate and then you would duplicate it twice more obviously same thing for this inner section of that flower same thing for this outer section of that flower and you would duplicate each one four times because there are four outer flowers now we don't need this because we have all the pieces, parts to this pattern selected already. Extracted, I'll call it. So left click, hold down the left mouse button, drag it over everything you no longer want, right click, delete. This will just give you a lot more space for arranging your pieces for efficient cutting. Duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate. There are the four intersections to the four outer flowers. <clears throat> so you would just go on arranging these pieces and making as many as you need for your block. Once you have it all arranged the way you want it, you probably already know how to click the download button. right click on this go to save link as and then you can save it directly to your USB stick or directly to your PC I do both so that I have you know a double copy 
something else I forgot to mention. You can give your file a name so you don't end up with that weird number FCM name. You can call this applique block one. And then when you go to download it, it'll retain that name so it's easy to recognize. See? Arrange your fabric <clears throat> in such a way you have a piece big enough for the four leaves. Maybe I would put the green right here. If I wanted these center flowers to be yellow, put a piece of yellow fabric on your mat. Put these center pieces over there. It really does make it very convenient and very efficient. If you want to hand applique, you can add your seam allowance at the machine. I haven't done that yet. I've seen other YouTube tutorials on how to add the seam allowance. and If you just look at the settings on your machine and read your manual a little bit, it's not difficult. Alright, hope this helps folks and uh, have a great day.